The next thing I want to talk about is collision events. And in some ways, this is sort of the uh, other side of the coin to trigger events. So trigger events is when you pass through something, something happens. With collision events is when something hits something, then something happens. So in this case, we're going to use it when you hit a specific object, uh, sound effect is going to play. So for example, maybe you run into a trap or, you know, a wall that you can't pass. It's going to play some sort of a sound that says like, you know, eh, you can't go through here or something to that effect. I honestly, I don't know what sound I'm going to use yet, but we'll figure that out. So to make this happen, we're going to need another primitive object, you know, to use as our collider object. So again, I'm just going to use a cube because it's just such an easy object to use. And I'm going to put this one over here. And again, in my inspector, I am going to, you know, change the size of this cube. Maybe I'll have it a little more narrow this time. I'll have it tall. And, you know, this will be our ant sound. So, in this case, this is not a trigger, so we can keep the box collider on just like normal, but without using trigger. For this object, I'm going to make a new material for it so we can make it semi-translucent or semi-transparent. So let's go to our materials. We'll make a new material, create material, and then I'll call this, uh, you know, semi transparent and I'm gonna give it a color we'll just do a color one and maybe I'll make this um, we'll make it red and this time we're gonna use this alpha here so we've got uh, you know red green blue and this one's a for alpha which means transparent and let's just try I don't know there and see how it looks so we'll grab and drag and drop this on You know, it's, it's really hard to see with the lighting here, so let's just disable lighting for the moment. And <clears throat> we fool around with this for a second, but we've got it as opaque, so let's say cut out. That's not what we want. Fade and transparent. So let's use this transparent one, and as you can see, it respects our transparency here. Now, transparent objects do take more, uh, again, memory for our game, and will slow us down if we have lots and lots of transparent objects, especially in VR, so we don't want to use too many transparent objects. You know, it helps if we just have a couple in scene at the most at once, and by the time you get to the end of this, you'll start to get a feel for, you know, what's too much and what's too little. So for now, we've got this... Um, object here and it's gonna you know beep us when we hit it so just like before I'm gonna click on the cube and I'm gonna give it an, an, uh, a name of uh, we'll just, I'll just call it no go and I'm gonna click on the playmaker tab and as you can see I'm still looking at the old FSM so let's just click around till we get a new one and we're not getting a new window here and so what's happening is you can see that we've got it locked so let's unlock this FSM so we can get to a new one. So add new FSM, and I'm just going to add two states. And as we know from before, I'm going to have... Actually, I can just go to my recent ones and find recent. We use this one called audio play. So in the second state, I'm going to call this play audio. I'm going to click this red box to give it a sound component. And I can take a look if I need to, but I'm pretty sure it's there. Audio source. Now we're going to have to give it a audio source of some kind. So let me try and decide what I want to use here for the audio. I'm just going to go back to my sounds. And uh, right, so I have this sort of very cheesy, sorry guys, so the guys who made this, the cheesy attack, jump, hit sounds. And uh, maybe you've added this to your project as well. 
and you know they're just sort of like silly sounds for being hit so they're kind of cheese tastic but that's fine we're going to use this uh here so it sounds like you know you're getting hurt when you touch it and maybe in the future for traps and stuff like that we will start adding some damage to it as well as the sound so let's go here and this is hit hit number 10 oh what's this one metal hit let's see what that is oh that's good too it's a little less annoying Okay, so we want it to play volume one, and as we know before, when it's finished, we want it to have an event. Oopsie, gave that a weird name. Okay, so I accidentally gave this a backslash on the name. That's okay, we can fix it. We've got FSM, which gives us a general FSM information. We've got the state. We also have events. So you can see this is the event I created and I can just click on it and rename this event. So I'm just gonna rename it, push enter, and you can see that it's been corrected. So when this is done, we want it to go back to state one. And state one is gonna be wait for collision. And so what we're going to do is go to Actions and type in Collision. And you can see under Physics there's one called Collision Event. And we'll double click this to add it. And we want it to fire when there is an on collision, oops, see, an on collision enter. Not stay, exit, nothing like this. Let's just use the on collision enter. And when that's done, we're going to send an event called Maybe we'll just call it hit. And when it's hit, it's going to play this sound. Let's save our game and then give this a try. So we're going to walk Ethan over there. Let's see if our music works. It does. And now let's hit this. Awesome. And as you can see, more than one sound can be playing at a time. So we can have this music playing as well as the hit sound. Okay, so in the next video, let's look a little bit more about what are tags and how we can use these in our uh, audio effect triggers here.